And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to explain to you guys exactly how proteases, or the protein digesting enzymes, attack and kill invading viruses. This is actually one of my favorite aspects of enzyme therapy, which is taking enzymes on an empty stomach so they enter the bloodstream and really assist the immune system. So, as we know, a virus is any various simple microscopic parasite that can often cause disease and that consists of a core of RNA or DNA surrounded by a protein coat. Viruses are unable to replicate without a host cell, so in this way they are not typically considered living organisms. Like other microorganisms, viruses gain entry to the body through the epithelial surfaces, typically the skin, the mucous membranes of the respiratory tract, the GI tract, and the genital tract also. If a virus manages to make it through these physical barriers, it encounters a second line of defense, and this is engaged against anything the body recognizes as foreign. White blood cells engulf, ingest, and eliminate foreign particles, including viruses, before they can infect any of the body's cells. The white blood cells constantly circulate throughout the body and the blood and the lymph system, and the most important of these white blood cells seem to be the macrophages. Macrophages may be mobile, circulating through the blood and lymph fluid, or attached to a particular type of tissue. They devour viruses and bacteria, as well as dead or damaged body cells and other debris. Other cells, called natural killer cells, wander through the blood and lymph fluid looking for abnormal cells, particularly those that are infected by viruses or may be cancerous, and when they find an abnormal cell, they ingest it. The most basic viruses have just two components, a core of genetic material and a protein coat called a capsid. In addition to these components, some viruses have an outer envelope consisting of a combination of lipids, proteins, or carbohydrates. The protein coat, or capsid, is made up of a series of repeating units known as capsomeres. While human cell membranes have hundreds of different structural elements, the viral capsid consists of just a few proteins repeated again and again indefinitely. So what does protease, the protein digesting enzyme, do to this exterior protein coat of the virus? Protease is a classification of a group of enzymes which act on protein molecules and assist in catalyzing reactions. These reactions, in effect, help to change the molecular structure or break down protein molecules. Proteases are able to dissolve almost all proteins as long as they're not components of normal living cells. Viruses, parasites, fungal forms, and bacteria are either protein or protected by protein. The introduction of oral proteases presents the ability of these enzymes to act upon the protein coating of the virus or any protein that is harmful to the body or does not belong there. Enzymes can also break down undigested food protein that's leaked into the bloodstream, and this also includes cellular debris and toxins in the blood. And all of this spares the immune system from doing this task too. So then when that happens, the immune system can then concentrate its full attention on the bacterial or parasitic invasion. So when you take a protease enzyme on an empty stomach, it's readily taken up into the mucosa cells of the intestine and passed into the bloodstream. High intake of oral protease is exceptionally good at reducing heavy metal concentrations in the blood also. While in the bloodstream, proteases are taken up by the alpha-2 macroglobulin, which ensures the survival of the enzyme in the body. This same alpha-2 macroglobulin escorts the protease enzyme throughout the body and appears to have the same ability that white blood cells have for determining what does and does not belong. Once identified, the alpha-2 macroglobulin exposes the protease to the protein invader, and digestion of that foreign protein begins. Oral proteases come in many forms, so it's important to look for a high protease product that uses numerous forms of these enzymes. The greater the number of proteases combined in the formula, the more effective the product. So look for a product that combines plant-based proteases with other proteolytic enzymes like serapeptase, catalase, and natokinase. All of these enzymes have the ability to break down different forms of protein and support the immune system in unique ways that herbs and traditional nutraceuticals really can't. So try taking some proteolytic enzymes anytime your stomach is empty. And this can be anywhere from two hours after a meal to at least one hour before a meal. So maybe taking it just before bedtime would really help. That's typically when I take mine. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.